Hi everyone, I'm Christy. And I'm Ezio. Welcome to the Qualitative Election Study of Britain Election Night Special Vlog. And in this episode we want to talk about people's impressions of Leanne Wood. So in our focus groups we ask people to brainstorm and their impressions of the leaders and now we want to wrap up and give a generalized picture of what participants thought of the leader of Plaid Cymru, Leanne Wood. So in terms of a positive, would you like to go over those, Ezio? Yeah. So, um, Let's start by saying that we didn't actually get a lot of responses for Leanne Wood compared to the to most of the other leaders. Uh, the other person who we didn't get a lot of responses was uh, for was Natalie Bennett, but we'll come to that in the next vlog. So in terms of positive associations, people said that she came across as nice, warm, approachable. They also said that she came across as professional, business-like, respectful and caring. So you see these two kind of falling on two dimensions where you have the warmth of her personality and then how um, professional or how how uh, well she portrayed herself. Right. In terms of her neutrals, a lot some a lot of it was similar to the kinds of things we had from Nick Clegg for mm -hmm. Nick Clegg in 2010, which is I don't know anything about her, no idea who, but for the neutrals that weren't just um eh, Things people associated with her with her were being Welsh, just like uh, with Nicola. Nicola. You saw the association of being Scottish. Nobody associates any of the English people with being English, but um, people do say that she's Scottish or she's Welsh as a neutral observation. They also thought she was strongish, and I think this indicates her debate performance, which was not quite as strong as Nicola's, but seen perhaps more strongly than Natalie's, mm. as we'll come on to in the next video. She was also seen as being um, characterized neutrally as of no importance or not being relevant, yeah. for better or for worse. That's what people associated with her. Yeah. In terms of her negative impressions of Leanne Wood, um, there was very much this idea that she was focusing on Wales. So we had uh, associations as local, uh, talks about Wales, not about the UK. We also had <laughs> cat alert, by the way. <laughs> Yeah, we have a cat trying to climb into my um, jumper, <laughs> like it's a cave. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, distraction. Yeah, sorry. Back to Leanne Wood and negative uh, impressions of Leanne Wood. So we had uh, people also say that she's trying to look s serious, that she's not strong enough, that she came across as weak. Right. And I think one of the things that came up, even in Cardiff, uh, was that she talked too much about whales. Or she, there's just Welsh, Welsh, Welsh was the association, and that idea being that it was a national, it was a, it was a, a debate for Britain, the British leaders, on a national and, stage, and a, yeah, and she was still talking too much to only a Welsh audience. Yeah, and of course, if you contrast that with Nicola, nobody said that she was, or at least very few people mm -hmm. said that she was talking just about Scotland. So she did manage to bring out um, uh, or give an impression that she was talking to the whole of the UK. Yeah, I think Nicola was seen as representing Scotland but wanting to be part of a larger anti-austerity, mm. anti-Tory agenda. Mm. Whereas Leanne Wood was seen as really just talking to the people of Wales or about the people of Wales and not connecting that as clearly as Nicola had to a Westminster agenda, political agenda moving forward. Yeah. So that's all um, in terms of leader impressions of Nat of uh, Leanne Wood. We will be back in an hour with impressions of Natalie Bennett. Till then, thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.